Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you everything that I have learned about pothos. I have been keeping pothos in my aquarium for a long time now, and I want to share my experience with you and everything that I've learned about the plant itself. So please stay tuned. We are looking at my 125 gallon parrotfish aquarium. It's 6 a.m. and you can tell I just turned the lights on. The fish are still quite sleepy. We are going to take an in-depth look at the pothos growing in my aquarium. Is it safe? Is it toxic? Should I be doing this? Is it risky? There are so many questions surrounding this plant in aquariums, so I want to put your mind at ease and share what I have experienced. Even though I have pothos in many of my tanks, pothos are not aquatic plants. We all know that. So I will only say if you want to try this, do it at your own risk. I've never had a problem with them making my fish sick or causing any other issues and have only experienced success. Because they are not aquatic plants, having them completely submerged, they could drown and die. Now, if that were to happen, it could cause a spike in nitrogen waste. That is what could potentially kill your fish but that is not the fault of the pothos. If you did notice any breakdown, I'm sure you would have the sense to remove it before it completely degraded. Most fish keepers that use pothos have them rooting in the water with the plants out of the water or tucked into their filters. Another aesthetically pleasing way is by using a diffuser panel, cutting a few larger holes in it, allowing the pothos to hang in the aquarium in many different locations. Doing this can produce stunning results and enhance your aquarium. For any of you who have never grown pothos, it is a wonderful plant for anyone to enjoy. They are pretty much indestructible. They can handle full sunlight, or very low light and they need very little care. From one plant, you will have in no time dozens of little plants as they are one of the very easiest plants to propagate. Snipping off a piece of vine, you can stick it in a glass of water directly into soil or plop it in your aquarium. And within a week, you will soon see small roots developing. It has been said that pothos plants are poisonous or toxic to cats and dogs or other animals. That tidbit of information is actually exaggerated or even misunderstood. These plants, like many other plants that we consume daily, contain calcium oxalate. This element is the cause of kidney stones in humans. It will react when contact with mucous membranes in the mouth occurs, providing it's a high concentration. This is actually the plant's defense against being eaten by insects or animals. However, if an animal does sample this plant, they are not likely to do it again as it will leave a mild burning or stinging sensation in their mouth, which is quickly washed away with their own saliva. Non-plant eating fish like my parent fish are very unlikely to try it, but again, if they do, it's very unlikely they will eat it again. For this reason, there's no need to worry. There are many benefits to having pothos in your aquarium, whether fully submerged or only the roots in the water. Aeration is one benefit. Plants produce oxygen. The second benefit is the help with filtration by feeding off the waste produced by your fish, thereby helping to keep your aquarium clean. In this tank, I have noticed a remarkable difference, even in just the first week. Thirdly, they produce cover for fish being tormented or chased, so they have a natural place to hide. And finally, it 
is a stress reducer when fish have natural plants to swim through and hide in. So there are just many benefits to this wonderful plant. I am a big fan of pothos. My home is full of them. Having it in my tanks is just an extension of that. I have had great success adding this plant to my tanks, fully submerged, and I love the look. As fish keepers, we all know that what works for some may not work for others. For this reason, I encourage you to do this with caution, keeping an eye on any changes or degrading um, leaves. And until you are sure that they are doing well, I would keep an eye on them. But truly, even if you don't have an aquarium or don't want it in your tank, I encourage you to get yourself a pothos. They really do add something to the home. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful day. I wish you a super weekend ahead and I will talk to you soon. Bye.